Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to composite explosions behind a car and where to download all the assets for free. Let's get started. First let's start by downloading the explosion VFX. For that, I'll go to production crate and search for explosion. Next I'll select ground explosions and make sure to enable show free so it only displays free explosion VFX. Note that you need to be registered on this website, otherwise you won't be able to download anything. Also you're limited to 5 free downloads per day. I'll leave a registration tutorial in this video's description, so feel free to check it out. Now let's download any explosion, I'll download this one. Make sure it's in PNG codec, then hit download. Once the download is complete, drag and drop the footage into your After Effects timeline. Since it's a PNG codec, we don't need to remove any green screen, black, or other backgrounds, we just need to track it perfectly behind the car, or wherever you want to place it. Select the clip, then go to the tracker panel and click track camera. Wait for it to finish analyzing. Once it's complete, select a few tracking points in the background. Then right-click and choose Create Null and Camera. Now select the explosion footage and enable 3D for it. Next hold Shift on your keyboard and parent it to the track null. This makes the explosion follow the exact position and movement of the tracked area, so it stays perfectly aligned with the scene. Now move the explosion layer above all other layers, and then hide the track null layer since we no longer need it. Select the explosion layer, press S on your keyboard, and scale it up until it fits perfectly. Also adjust the rotation and position as needed. Let's check it now. Once everything looks good, in my case I want the explosion to appear behind the car, duplicate your original clip and move the duplicated one above the explosion layer. Then scroll to the beginning of the layer and make sure to delete the 3D camera tracker effect from it. Next select the Roto Brush tool, double click on the duplicated layer, and start rotoscoping the car as smoothly as possible. Once you're done, click the freeze button. After the freezing is complete, close the rotoscoping window and check the result. That looks great. Now I want to add more explosions to the scene. Duplicate the explosion layer, then drag it forward slightly to change the timing. Next reposition it to another side and adjust the rotation slightly. I'll also increase the scale so both explosions don't look the same size and maybe move it slightly out of frame. Let's quickly check the result. Everything looks good. The final step is adding the shakes. I'll use two shakes from the AM Film Shakes pack. Check this video's description to get AM Film Shakes. I've also made several shake tutorials, which you can find on the channel. Let's check the final result and we're done. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.